a surprise fourth quickest in the brand new Lotus 94T with the Renault Power is Elio De Angelis with a 1 minute 10.771 second lap. Elio, the brand new Lotus 94T, first time out. What's, what is it like to drive a car for the first time in a circuit like this? Well, it's uh, very interesting because especially if the car is competitive, you know, you, you get a fantastic feeling in the fast corner. Mm. Well, it seems very competitive. You were fastest today in uh, unofficial practice. You think you'll be able to hold that position into qualifying for the pole on uh, Saturday? Well, like uh, I said before, we have, um, uh, we have a brand new car, so I'm st still uh, trying to understand what the, car, what the car likes, what the car wants. So every time that we stop in the pits, I see my board showing me that I'm a little bit quicker than the lap before. So it means that I still have to understand the car. Well, and you always want to show some caution with a brand new car, too. That's right. It's the only one that we got at the moment. So. <laughs> well, the reason it's the only one they've got at the moment is because Nigel Mansell and Elio De Angelis have these Lotus 94Ts, which have been designed and built in just five weeks between the Canadian and the British Grand Prix by this man, Gerard Decarouge. In fact, Gerard was sacked by the Alfa Romeo team for a bit of a mix-up during the French Grand Prix. And I should think they must be very sorry that they let him go to the John Player Special Lotus team. Elio De Angelis, fourth quickest, although Nigel Mansell had a real hard time during practice, only qualified way down in 18th place with a 1 minute 15.133 seconds lap. But it would certainly seem that the Lotus-Renault combination working well here at Silverstone the only championship point they scored so far in 1983 was sixth place at the Canadian Grand Prix. Elio De Angelis looking wide, but I should